Hi there and welcome to episode 35 of our Prison Architect Let's Play series. Why is this failing? Why is it? Oh, it's, it's just loading. Same as these toilets, I guess. There we go, they're just loading because it just loads the saved game, so things lag a little bit at the beginning. Uh, we've got our beautiful new kitchen canteen area. Let's get some new flooring in this place, actually. So, what flooring should we go with? I'm thinking fancy tiles, actually, and then white tiles for the middle. So let's go and get some fancy tiles. Speed is normal, so it's not going to be epically fast, but we can go for fancy tiles on most of the outside, like this, and uh, possibly, not sure about the toilet areas, but we'll come to those when they arrive. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, uh, we've built our workshop area, which is all looking really good, and our common room area, and that's all working really nicely, uh, but today... We're 310 out of 320 at the moment, so we actually need to get some uh, some new prisoners or some new cells built. So we're going to be working on this area. In fact, 19 prisoners are arriving at 8 a.m., so we probably should prioritise this area more than uh, doing flooring in the kitchen. But flooring is just such a fun thing, and it just looks so nice after it's done. Uh, but yes, that's what we're going to be doing today, so I'm uh, going to crack on with that. Okay, danger levels are starting to increase a bit because of the food. What we've done is we moved the regime on by an hour, uh, as we talked about in the last episode, because uh, because the food delivery times coincide with when they eat, when all the prisoners eat. So at the moment, uh, everyone's very hungry because they haven't had food for an extra hour in the morning than they normally do have. Uh, so as soon as the time rolls on 9 o'clock, uh, they're having a little bit of exercise now in the yard. As soon as 9 o'clock rolls on... Oh! That's interesting. All the junk from that corner's gone. Ooh, that's lovely. I like it when that happens. Uh, this bug has sorted itself out. Right, it's eating time. So hopefully all the prisoners will get all fed and they'll all be happy again. But danger level is, is low and increasing at the moment. But yeah, it's, it's, there's two exclamation marks there, so it's not the best. But yeah, all the prisoners do seem to be getting in, getting stuck in with the food at the moment. So that bar should go down quite significantly. Uh, so that should be alright. There we go, beautiful. All the food need has dwindled now and we still have a little bit of eating time left. We've got another 10 minutes worth of uh, canteen time. So all the prisoners just kind of stood around in the canteen, not really sure what to do with themselves. Uh, just dusting around a bit, using the toilets, that sort of thing. All this good. And now it's work time, so get cracking guys. Let's. Uh, we've got license plates to print. I've also built a load more uh, cookers, so we had some tables here, because I thought that tables being here might allow us to actually put some food on the tables instead of in these fridges, but uh, yeah, that didn't actually happen, so had to so just change these around so we've actually got cookers there now instead of tables, and that'll give us a little bit more capacity in our kitchen. Okay, just putting the finishing touches on these new cells now, so that's 40 new cells, so let's actually designate them. And go sell, 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 sell. There's 10, 20, 30, 40. And also the showers as well. Because we've laid those out too. So there's one and two new showers. Beautiful. And we also need to actually decorate these too. But we've not got that much cash at the moment. And it's time to auto save. But there's another 40. Uh, there's another capacity for 40, so that brings us up to 360 total capacity now. And, yeah, so we're well on our way to 500. Oh, this is odd. Uh, with the deployment, with these two new areas of cell block C, uh, we can only deploy to the shower area, but in these old ones, we deploy per set of cells. And so that's, uh, that's a little bit strange. It must be to do with the order in which you build the... Uh, the jail doors compared to when you build the walls, that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit weird. So the clone tool. Let's reapproach that topic again. The clone tool will allow you to clone things if you don't have enough money. So I've queued up all these cells, but it then... It, it, it doesn't pay for anything until you then have the money. So any time that we're getting money at the moment, it's going straight on the new beds and toilets and whatnot here. So that's a little bit of an issue. You know, you'll see it as soon as 10 o'clock rolls along. So in about 15 seconds or so, you'll see there will be money on the income, which is going to be about 1.5 grand as usual. Um, 
and then suddenly all of the money is going to go on probably like two beds and two uh, jail doors, that sort of thing. So have a look at this. There you go. Cash flow is 17 grand, 1200 on jail doors, 1300 on brick. Yeah, so it's all going at the moment. Um, it'll get sorted very quickly, but uh, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. It shouldn't let you do that, really, I, get, I don't think. Oh, looks like we've got another sexy prisoner, Harvey Lodder. Lodder was jailed for multiple murders and a single case of cannibalism in the workplace after he found his work colleagues bothering the company's goats. The police were not convinced that the goats were beyond help prior to being curried. Okay, fair enough. I don't understand that, but uh, yeah, he's in for 59 years. Wow, that's going to take a while. One of the minor annoyances when it comes to the clone tool is the lights. Because lights are placed automatically, and when you clone, it doesn't get rid of the lights that are already there. So we've ended up with a shed load of extra lights that we don't really need. So we've got, you know, three lights in a cluster there. We've got two lights next to each other there. Uh, because we simply cloned this area down here up to here. So, yeah, lots of lights right next to each other. I guess uh, lights should maybe be something that's not quite automated. Or that's automated such that the clone tool deletes the lights that are underneath it. I don't know yet, but uh, the clone tool works pretty well. And we've actually made back our cash now, so uh, paying for a little bit of sheet metal or some reform program sessions, but uh, yeah, we're back into the back into the positives, and there's 1.6 grand of exports straight away. So we've got our one forestry over there, but uh, it's time to get a new forestry on the go. So where is the forestry button? There it is. Let's just lay out a forestry in all the grass area here and go two in so there's a little bit of a road around it and that's going to cost a fair amount of cash to actually get all the trees in there but then we won't have to buy as much sheet metal so the idea is we create a couple of big forest trees right at the front here makes it look nice and pretty and then uh, eventually at least we won't need to buy any sheet metal for here because it'll all come from the wood and we'll be able to build some lovely wooden benches or lovely wooden, uh, what are they? It's beds that are, that are made out of wood, isn't it? But yeah, here goes the, uh, the cash for the trees. Well, that's nice. People are actually making use of the common room now, even if it is just to use the weights benches. Um, oh, that's a light. But yeah. It's been pretty empty since we built these things, but uh, actually now we, uh, we're getting some use out of it. Still don't see many people using the pool tables, but the weights benches definitely. People are loving those. And next thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to do with this area. So the idea is to get some sort of classroom maybe, and at the moment we're just using it as storage, but maybe some sort of classroom, maybe a couple of uh, psychologists' rooms, something like that. Okay, there we go. We've got two psychologists' office. Furnish them out lovely with a, a wide sofa, TV, phone booth. That one's actually got a power switch that it doesn't really need. But uh, yeah, they both look beautiful there. I uh, hired a second psychologist as well that can do some a uh, little bit of training or whatever it is they do. What is it they do? What's the program that you you guys do? Behavioral therapy, isn't it? Yes. So I wonder if we can go and hit start again. Yes, we can. There we go, so we've actually got two sessions at a time now. That's really cool. So the next step, I guess, is to sort this out into some sort of classroom. So let's go ahead and shove the room down. Uh, where are we for classroom? There it is. So let's go and put this down here like so. And uh, then we need to furnish it, I guess. Okay, there we go. A beautiful new classroom, which has just got, it's got three desks. don't know why, really, because uh, we're only going to have one teacher. But then 30 pupils' desks as well. So, um, hopefully, when it comes to the next morning, we'll actually be able to see this in action. We'll see a teacher come in and give some sort of lesson. I don't know. don't know what he's going to try. Oh, yes, we need to set up a program, don't we? So, let's go to Foundation Program. 87 interested. Let's start one of those. Um, where's that gone? Has that gone to the top? Oh, there it is. So foundation program, 11 till 2, and possibly start a second one. So 11 till 2, oh no, they're 3 hours long. Yeah. So 11 till 2. Do we even, is 11 till 2 even a uh, even a thing? Let's just check that on our regime. Yes, 11 till 2, it's a 4 hour thing, so I guess they need to be there for the, well, hold on, no, it's, it is a 3 hour thing, 11 till 2. Um... So yeah, we can only have one a day, I guess, but uh, yeah, that's pretty good. 
So there's well over a thousand places to search now when we do shakedowns. Just uh, just employed another 20 or so guards to help us with these shakedowns and because we are expanding. And uh, speaking of expanding, time to actually build some more cells. So how many are we at the moment? We're at 350 or so out of 380. We've got space for 30 more. We've only got eight coming in in the next minute or so, but uh, always good to be prepared. Check it out, we've got a teacher teaching us students. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, uh, 18, 19, 20 students all being taught by this teacher here. That's awesome. So we've actually got a working classroom now. Put some tables in just for some decoration. Uh, basically, I'm trying to get rid of the stuff that we've still got in storage. So we've still got a couple of uh, staff doors, a couple of drinks machines. We could put some drinks machines in here, I guess, couldn't we? Uh, let's go and shove them in. Where are they now? I'll be able to find them if I go to the staff room. Come on. Where are they? Can't see them. Right, let's have a look in the big... There it is, drinks machines. So let's just shove a couple of drinks machines in there randomly. Because um, that gets rid of them out of the storage, gets makes use of them. And yeah, so we've got actual people learning now. They're doing the foundation... What is it? Foundation education, isn't it? Yes, foundation education. Uh, they all seem to be looking in the wrong direction. But at least they're actually there, and at least they're actually learning. Right, so because we had a load of extra space here, decided to turn it into another couple of psychologists' offices, offices uh, and give them all some bookshelves as well, and make some toilets for the classroom, because you can never have enough toilets. Um, so now we have four psychologists, and if we have a quick look at the actual programs, we have behavioural therapy, so many behavioural therapy classes, four of them are active at the moment, so there's people in each one of these psychologists' offices getting trained up or getting therapized or whatever you might call it. And yeah, so we've got loads of that stuff going on. Um, we've got foundation education program is still going on. That's doing really well as well in this big classroom here. And the kitchen safety hygiene. No one's really interested in kitchen safety hygiene at the moment because we've actually sorted all of those people out. Uh, same for workshop induction, only five people interested in that now. We've got 12 people interested in carpentry, so may actually... Yeah, why not? Let's get another another set of carpentry uh, on the go there as well. And that should hopefully get those people all trained up. And yeah, we're doing really well at the moment. So, what else have we got? We've got... Oh my god, we've got so much stuff in there. That stuff needs to get used. <laughs> Didn't even realise we had so much stuff in there. So, um... Oh, and there's all this wood to actually sell. We're going to have to go and sell a load of this. Yeah. So that's, there's loads of cash just lying around here. Um, but this is probably because we have... There, there needs to be some sort of limit, I think, in this game that says... Oh, you've got, uh, you've got so much wood, but only one person who can use a carpenter table. So maybe sell some of it or something like that. Maybe uh, just a little slider that says keep 50% or something along those lines. But... Um, yeah, the, other than the fact that these workshops are completely full of stuff, um, it's all looking pretty good. Love the fact that these trucks always deliver one thing at a time. There's one tree, two tree, three tree, four trees, five, six trees, and one, two, three, four, five trucks. Five trucks, six trees. So I'm planting these trees to try and save the environment here. Delivering one tree per truck isn't really, yeah... It's not really within my interests, that. <laughs> Here go our prisoners all filing out of the canteen. It is bedtime. Let's just check their needs tab. Beautiful. All the food is sorted as well. So everyone is very satisfied uh, with the food at the moment. Everyone's very satisfied with safety. Exercise could be a little better. Uh, not really sure how we can improve that. Maybe an hour of yard time to replace one of the hours of free time instead to actually force them to get some exercise instead of just assuming that they will but yeah that's all it's all looking pretty damn good at the moment the sleep is obviously in need because it's 10 o'clock at night or so and let's just check the time yes it is 10 o'clock at night so uh, we'll bring the episode to a close there and we are at what are we at? 355 out of 400 prisoners at the moment. So we've got plenty of space at the moment. And we've still got these four um, parts of the cell block to actually fill up. We've got our beautiful new classroom here. Four psychologists' offices. And everything is looking really good for us at the moment. We've not even had any severe fights in quite a while now. Uh, in fact, isn't there... Yes, days without... Oh, 0.7 days without incident. There must have been a bit of a fight earlier today. 
Um, but other than that, we're, we're doing really well. So, like I say, bring the episode to a close here. As ever, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye now.